deep in the bowels of DC's Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History, you'll find something hardly anyone knows about, let alone gets to see in person. A hidden dinosaur vault that tells the story of life on Earth from hundreds of millions of years ago. The fact that there's things that people don't even know are here waiting to be found is actually the most exciting part for me. You may remember my story from just a couple of weeks ago here at the museum's fossil lab. While I was hanging out with fossil preparators like Miria Perez, they told me that only a very small percentage of fossils that we have are on display. So a lot of them are actually behind the scenes. Which is how I ended up here. Cast of a T-Rex. Shin bone. Exploring the endless corridors of floor to ceiling shelves containing some of the coolest and rarest bones on Earth. If you run your finger on the back here, you sure. it's got a sharp edge. Oh my gosh, and yeah. That is that is still preserved. Some of these are actually really pretty well preserved. Alongside paleontologist Matt Carano, the museum's curator of Dinosauria. Great name, even cooler business card. Here's the knee, here's the hip. This is an animal as an adult, be 40 or 50 feet long, so this is... I don't know, a four-year-old? The fossil he's showing me right now of a baby long-necked dinosaur is from the 1890s, and is specimen number 2,263 cataloged here in the museum's fossil archive. It's one of their first discoveries ever. To put that number into perspective today... I'm like, I'm literally numbering things in my office that are... 790,000. And the collection seems to go on forever. I ended up in a room called the Donut, walking halls the length of football fields, and the more I looked, the more fascinating prehistoric creatures I uncovered. Like, for instance, these two triceratops from Wyoming, these amphibians from New Mexico, or this Procerolophus from Canada. Matt told me they house dinosaurs uncovered all over the world here, even those unearthed right in the DMV, like that tooth from an Allosaurus you saw earlier. In this drawer, we have a lot of the uh, predatory dinosaur materials from Maryland. I even got to touch the jaws of a 67 million year old dinosaur fossil. This is the lower jaw of a duck billed dinosaur. The beak end is here. This is where it would connect to the skull, so it opened and closed like that. Every fossil here is meticulously cataloged. Matt says each bone's unique number in their database instantly gives them info about where the fossil was found, who found it, when it was found, what rock layer of the earth it was in, etc. Studying the past, he says, is vital to humanity's survival. The uh, real power of paleontology is it shows us different versions of the world we know, stretching back hundreds of millions of years. And each of those versions actually has something that we get to learn from when we are thinking about the present world. Of all the dinosaur bones I came across during my time with Matt, there was one that caught my eye. It's actually the official dinosaur of DC, and I showed it to you already in a clip of this story. See if you can figure out which one it was, and in the meantime, I'll have more on that in a future episode of Matt About Town. Here inside the Hull of the Donut at the National Museum of Natural History with Matt, I'm Matt. Thanks for letting me dig beneath the surface. It's a pleasure to have you. I always love being able to show that there's a lot more here than meets the eye. WTOP News. For more stories like this, download and listen to WTOP Radio on our app or tune in to 103.5 FM. So this vault isn't as hidden away as some of you may think. It's actually open to scientific researchers and their students in the paleobiology field from around the world. And what they have here at the Smithsonian is technically the property of the American people. Some pretty cool items for them to look after, if you ask me.